chapter 30 slides are the tits yes in cruncher at the bottom of the incredible hell slide harry rondo and chad find themselves in a den of bones the bones of all the poor kids whose bodies were never recovered by the hogwarts staff it is apparent that the air of slytherin lured them down here with that fucking awesome slide for what kid magic or muggle could resist keep an eye out for monsters says harry drawing his nunchucks this is obviously a popular kill zone and snakeskins galore yipe at least we know what we're up against it would seem that satan's monster is a huge ass fucking snake typical Chad just red rings right there on the disgusting ground. But look out! He's a faker, and he snatches Ron's wand when Ron's not paying attention. Are you the heir of Slytherin, says Harry, because that would be hilarious. I don't know what that is, says Lovelace. All I know is that I'm going to kill you both and take credit for doing something badass down here. You don't have the guts, says Ronnie. You don't know what I'm capable of, says the Lovelace. You're talking to a guy who once stabbed a Tanzanian sex worker with his own rib. And once word gets out that I killed Harry Potter... I'll be chin deep in Tang, namely that of Hardcastle McHuffer Puffer, who I've been trying to nail all year. She's a sexual legend. But yeah, Ron's wand's broken, remember, so it all fucks up in his face. Lovelace splits his skull open on a rock, and we can safely assume he's dead. And he can join the club. What sucks is that this causes a minor avalanche here in Hell's Outer Rim, separating Harry from his right-hand man. I guess he'll have to go it alone now. Shit. Harry scrambles up to the to a hole at the top of the barrier to make sure the old bear's okay. Ron, it looks like, for me at least, this was a one-way ticket. I don't think I'll be coming back, man, and that must hurt to know. I love you, brother. We've had some bitchin' times. And if, against all odds, I survive this, I'll see you next year. Oh, I'm not coming back next year, says Ron. What? says Harry. Yeah, no, I've had a broken wand all year long, Harry. You can't just skate through wizard school with a wand that doesn't function properly. I failed every single one of my classes. Guess that makes me a dropout. Yeah, I've always been sort of bothered by the fact that so much of our livelihood depends upon these little sticks. You know? All our spells and our smarts would count for zilch were it not for these stupid things. It's not like losing your wallet or your passport, is it? Wand breaks and tough, tough tit. Sure, a wizard's wand, when used properly, may be capable of incurring more damage than an infinite arsenal of nuclear weaponry, but accidentally sit on it, snap, and you're fucked. So yeah, I'll be starting next fall at Pigsits, the wizard public school. Which, you know, is fine. We'll Skype. While the bear imparts facts of life to no one, Harry occupies himself by gate-crashing the underworld. With secret snake code, of course, the most evil of doors opens to him, and Harry knows in his heart of hearts that he is truly ready for anything. Meanwhile, on the other side, the bear takes a big piss in the mouth of Lovelace's corpse.